What's up guys, it's me Jake here, and today we will be doing something very, very different for my channel. Now, if you didn't know, me and a bunch of fellow manga tubers played Among Us Friday for quite a while on stream. I'll leave a link to that and all of them in the description below, so please check them out. But from that stream, I thought I should make a manga tuber imposter TO list, since we had to play for a really long time, and I decided why not. So yeah, let's get straight into this. Now, how we're going to do it is we're going to go left to right, so we're going to end with like a... Uh, Later, Devil uh, Young Boy, and probably, but to start off, we're gonna be starting off with Prom. And for Prom, he plays a very kill heavy playstyle as an imposter, making him finish games quickly and strategically. He's also good at hiding, uh, hiding it's him through his, uh, his charismatic nature being so prevalent whenever he plays. It's like you never see him not come, and when he's blamed, uh, pitted on him. He finds a way through it through words very well. It's like his charismatic nature, he jokes around, he doesn't really, like, try to yell. He actually just brings his charismatic nature through the game, which is really hard to do. And his way of working around things and killing is good in hard, uh, in good hard spots is why I'm putting him in S. And I believe right now, probably the best manga tuber imposter right now. Um, there's a couple that are near him. But I don't think anyone else is S tier for right now. Uh, next up is East Coast. Now, East Coast didn't play much Imposter when I was in the lobby with him, like four or five games. But when he did, he won each game by not killing in terrible spots. Now, that's a very important, like a very, very important thing is not to kill in terrible spots. And he did it really well. He also plays very much like his crewmate counterpart as an imposter self uh as his imposter self and i can see him getting into s tier at some point in the near future but right now i believe he lives belongs in an a from what i've from what little i have seen i have uh but he is definitely an imposter that is really hard to deal with at some points so yeah i'm definitely gonna put him in a um next up is actually gonna be myself now this might seem a little bit biased since it's myself you know but I do believe my imposter game is pretty solid, focusing around vent kills and my no uh, game knowledge to help push the sus off of myself. And I also play very much like a crewmate, uh, my crewmate counterpart. And I'm pretty adapt, uh, I'm a pretty adaptive imposter game, having a pretty adaptive imposter game, adapting to my teammates' playstyle and not over exaggerating, um, overextending for my kills. But I will say. A real pitfall is stack killing and my self report game both being really weak, so it's hard to convince others it isn't me. So that's why, out of all of these three, I'm probably the weakest imposter out of the, those three so far. But yeah. So far, I think I'm an A, but I'm definitely not at prom and East Coast level right now. That's just my opinion. People can say otherwise. If you want to make a video like this also, by the way, you can definitely make one. I don't really care. I kind of want to see what you guys want rank everyone in the manga tube community as imposters or crewmates because i was thinking about doing a crewmate tier list as well so yeah if you do make a video i would like to see that leave the uh, link to that video in the description but yeah let's just get moving on now next up on this list is actually gonna be manga unbox for unbox i think he's on the cusp of being an a but just not quite there yet and here's some examples for what i'm trying to say i believe unbox plays his game well Playing, knowing his map placement, and getting others to vouch that it wasn't him, when in actuality, when he gets a kill, it's from a while ago. The real pitfall in his play is how much he talks, though. And by that, I mean both his imposter game and crewmate game are very similar, and with that, he doesn't speak too much. But that does uh, become a double-edged sword, since it can throw sus on him for not speaking, or make it so they can vote someone else. So that's why I'm going to be basically giving him a B plus. I think he's probably the best in the B tier right now. Um, he usually wins almost all of his games. He's a really consistent imposter, so I'd probably give him a B to B plus. Now, Mix, you're my homie. I am very sorry for this. And I'm very, very sorry for this. You're a real one. But you only have one imposter game, and... From that one game, I got this small assessment of your imposter as uh, you play as an imposter. You play a pretty passive imposter, and you don't vent too much at all. 
Your map knowledge isn't bad, and your ability to get people on your side isn't bad, but you also let up crucial uh, let up a crucial double kill that to lose the game in uh, one of our games. You basically let someone walk past you and your imposter teammate, and then threw sus on your imposter teammate to try to get it off you, which is why I'm probably going to have to give you C. Now, C is not bad. How I'm ranking this is average, ab above average, other than... um. Unbox. I think he's just. This is like really good, and this is just like god tier right now. This is basically how I'm going with it. I think he's on the uh, Unbox is on the cusp of being really good, and I think Mixed is pretty average at the Imposter right now. But I've only seen him from one game, so I can't really say much. Now, hmm, Sage. What should I say? Well, to start off, he plays pretty similar to Prom from what I have seen, but. There's one difference in their playstyles, and that's from their form of charisma. By that, I mean Prom can get himself through with jokes and staying calm, while Sage plays his uh, charismatic card a little differently, throwing sus while cracking jokes, which can in turn lead to the sus to him. And that's why I put I'm putting him at B as well. I think he's a pretty good imposter. I don't think he's terrible. He's basically, I probably would put him like in between C and B, but I think he's pretty good at the game. I definitely do think he deserves to be there. And yeah, he, he definitely played well. He definitely did play well. Next up, Trizzy, Trizzy, Trizzy. I am sorry, man. You didn't get imposter once at all the whole time. I am so sorry. But, 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 there's one thing about you here, though. Um, you're going to be the one and only in this category, the third imposter category. And why is that? Well, that's because whenever you were alone, and there's basically two imposters left with six people, you were the one that got killed. Because throughout the whole session, you didn't get imposter, we didn't know, your imposter gameplay wasn't there. So we didn't know if it was you just because you were alone and near the body. So most of the time, you just got kicked out of the game. Well, you got killed out of the game purely because of that. So the third imposter is not really just saying you're protecting an imposter. It's basically the imposter's pit the blame on you in this category. So that's why I put you here, Trizzy. Nothing to you. I'm not trying to roast you. You really didn't get imposter once, so I can't really do anything about that. So, yeah, I can't really say anything. Next up, My Manga Academia. Now, from what we played a little bit today as of recording this, and he did play a really good imposter game, some uh, some really good imposter games today, but this is from my Friday stream, so this is really tough. So, since My Manga, you are so close to B, and I think you have a lot of space to improve, you do get on people on your side, and you your kill game isn't bad, but I think you still need a lot more map knowledge but that comes with time so i definitely think you can rise to um a b or maybe even a very soon like i think you can probably get to like here or here if you just play more so i definitely think that you have very much space to improve so does mix if mix keeps getting more imposter games i think he has more space to improve now captain ryan i literally didn't see you play imposter once and i rewatched the stream so i can get my stream highlight stuff for my editor to leak so I can't really say anything about you, Ryan. I am so sorry, but you didn't get imposter once. So I can't really put you on the tier list and actually give you a tier because you didn't actually play it. So, yeah. Next up is actually Beast Anime. Now, I also have to put him in NA purely because he got imposter twice, but he was super unlucky. In both games he got imposter, he got kicked out of the game. So I didn't see him get become an imposter at all. I only saw one kill out of him, and that was like a right out of uh, kills time, like right out of that first spawn. Like once his kill cooldown went off, he just got a kill, and then he got kicked out. So I can't really say anything. I really can't. Now, next up, we have pro uh, later. Actually, this is later. I don't know why I said probably. Probably is this one, but later. Um. Later was able to get kills in particular situations, uh, peculiar situations, and not get sus thrown on her for that round. But later on during the game, the sus came her way, and that's one major reason I can't put her too high. But I still believe that she's definitely good enough to hold her own, and isn't an imposter just to scoff at, so I'm probably just going to put her at B tier. 
she definitely did, deserves this tier. I definitely think she's really good at the game. So, yeah. Just stay there. Just stay there. Yeah. Next up is Double Young Boy. Now, Double Young Boy wasn't bad at killing, but when it came to what his imposter game, like overall, he called comms many times in scenarios where lights or reactor, we're talking about on Polis, because we mainly play on Polis, where lights or seismic is way better of an option. He always called comms. And he also did not take advantage of his ability to vent too much. But he is good at killing and hiding it that it's him. So if he keeps playing and gaining the game knowledge, I believe his imposter game will get much better. And I definitely think that's true. And that's why I'm going to be putting him at C. Now, that's really annoying to get him in here, but it's fine. Now, finally, yeah, probably. Now, probably. He played one insane imposter game. I think it was like his only imposter game. No, he played two, and both of them he played super well in. So, basically, the first game I saw of this guy as imposter, he was teamed with Prom. But the thing about that was, Prom really just killed off kill cooldown and right in front of people. So, he just got voted out right away. And he had to just 1v7. And not only that, he had no sus on him at all. Sticking with people and killing once... He gets the good chance. Not overextending, but also not throwing sus his way. He also makes good, valid reasonings on where he is and why it isn't him. So that's why I definitely think he deserves A. He definitely just played Imposter so well. Playing it not to, like, show who he, like, he is. He's trying to stick with a crowd and then get those kills when the crowd leaves him. So that's something that is really important. Now, I'm going to put myself probably last in A. I think... I'm not as good as probably or East, in my opinion. So, I definitely think I'm going to be around here. Um, if I were to rank them, I would probably go like this. This is probably how I would go with it. This is definitely the order I would go in, probably. I can probably switch East and probably. They're probably around equal. And Mix and my, uh, my Manga Academia, they're also equal. But, yeah, this is going to be my imposter tier list for manga tubers i might make another part of this later on down the line it just depends because it's not all the manga tubers out there i still have to play with like modus and all the other manga tubers i want to play with like there's a lot of other manga tubers i want to play with so i'm probably going to make a second part of this continuing off this tier list so stay tuned for that i'm also might make a crewmate tier list but that's a little bit more difficult so Stay tuned for that as well. And also, the stream highlights for this stream is probably going to be in the next week or two. So, that's going to be a really sick video. I'm having my friend Leaf edit it. I'll leave his link in the description as well because Leaf is insane at editing. He's one of the best editors out there, in my opinion, for like only being editing for like six months. He's really good at it, what he does. Definitely go check him out. He definitely deserves all the love and support that I can give him. So, yeah. If you, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you guys next time. Peace!